Radical. Hypothetical situation. Let's say you're cruising around in a Tesla Cybertruck. You go to a friend's house and you drive right into a bit of mud. And you get the mud all over the bottom right corner of your Tesla Cybertruck. Well, you spent $100,000 on this thing, you're cruising around town, and surely you want people looking at your Tesla Cybertruck and you don't want to be dirty because, after all, the main reason you got your Tesla Cybertruck is for clout to make people think that you're somebody special and you can't have any clumps of dirt and mud on your Cybertruck. Well, you have an idea, like maybe this person had. Her name is... Courtney Ferris, who is probably your typical Cybertruck purchaser, you know, pretty lovely photographer model type person, that's who's buying the Cybertruck. It's not this fella right here. This is just a typical truck guy voice. It's not that guy. It's this chick right here, this skinny model chick. That's who's buying the Cybertruck, by the way. Um, so you have an idea that you're going to go to the car wash. It's where you go if you get your vehicle dirty right, the, the car wash. Most of you, if you're away from the house and you know you don't have access to your uh, hose and you can't wash it off when you get home, you can't do that in a cyber truck now. Even the car wash itself, they turn Courtney Ferris away when they have this picture I should have in the background that they posted up with a picture of the uh, the Cybertruck. Tesla Cybertruck's not allowed. Tesla warranty does not cover car wash damage. Isn't that interesting? The car wash damage is not covered in your warranty for your $100,000 Tesla Cybertruck. Now you might be scratching your head going, but it's a vehicle. Like, it's, it's a vehicle. I could go to the car and truck wash. Shouldn't I be able to? Not with the Tesla Cybertruck, because you see, it is very prone to messing up, having failures, or just bricking if you go through the car wash. This tough, rugged truck can't survive a car wash. Isn't that fucking sad, right? It, it states here, water is actually really bad for the exterior if not properly dried afterwards, meaning it could ruin the car and make the car wash legally liable. Ha! Huh. Tesla recommends that drivers use alcohol wipes, such used to clean glasses or screens to clean away small stains. Well, you got you got you more than a small stain here, Tesla. I just drove into a, I just drove into a, area, a muddy area. Like I said in my story, I just got my turbo truck. I drove and I got mud all over the right side of the car. Am I supposed to buy? multiple package of alcohol wipes at the drugstore and tell them I got to take these little alcohol wipes out here and 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 wipe off all this mud on the alcohol wipes no you want to go to the car wash now it also says here the Cybertruck has a car wash mode that's supposed to be used and the failure to put Cybertruck in car wash mode may result in damage to the charging port or the one should wipers and that's not covered by the warranty now, maybe there's hope. Maybe if people put it in a car wash mode, then maybe that would work. But I wouldn't even be. I wouldn't even want to take it to the car wash and mess up and brick the truck. I love that. Water is actually really bad for the exterior if not properly dried afterwards. Well, it's a good thing it never, you know, uh, rains outside. It's a great thing it never rains. So they should just have a warning when you buy a cyber truck. Don't drive this shit in the rain, all right? If it's going to rain, check your weather and leave that at home. Leave it at home, put a cover over it, put it in your garage. You can't do a lot with a cyber truck. You can't even go to the fucking car wash in your $100,000 cyber truck. What a completely sad... <laughs> what a fucking sad example of a truck... You might think I'm done talking about the Cybertruck today. Well, I am not.